Alright, hey guys, and welcome to a brand new Minecraft PSP update video. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the changes made in version 0.3 pre release 3. So, without further ado, before we get into it, I'd really appreciate it if you guys could hit that like button, the subscribe button, and the notification bell to be notified of whenever I upload. But without further ado, let's get right into the video. Now, of course, we're going to be starting up Craft Server over here. It's not connected yet to our Java Edition client. And in this release for version 0.3, pre-release 3, we've added saving. So things that are in the world will actually be saved uh, to the actual disk. Everything is in plain text format right now, uh, just due to the fact that it's more uh, easy for me to debug. However, I will probably translate it into a binary sort of format in the future, basically in order to um, basically have a lot easier of a time uh, making adjustments to it and changes to it. Currently what is saved is chunks uh, alongside of basically everything that has to do with uh, placing blocks, uh, breaking blocks, stuff like that will always be saved by the server. It takes a second here to load in uh, for the saved chunks, but it doesn't take any time, uh, any more time, sorry, for the chunks that aren't actually going to be loaded. So as you guys can see, I can go ahead and break all these blocks, and this actually registers on the server side now, so the server side will remember it. So if I disconnect, which would otherwise reset the world, um, and reconnect, I can go ahead and uh, give it a second here, of course, it will have remembered all the changes that I've made in this world. So as you see, all the grass that was there was previously cleared. Now if I go ahead and place a bunch of blocks, that's also saved. Uh, so that is some saved data. Uh, I've also done some things that prevent you from actually being able to place blocks inside of you. Of course you can still nudge yourself out of the way, but other than that, you actually aren't actually able to place blocks inside of yourself uh, with some probably really rare edge case exceptions uh, where you could find a way to kind of be pushed in, but then uh, you would be immediately pushed out. Basically, this has uh, resulted in the entire uh, inventory updating on the server side, all of the chunks and blocks and everything being updated on the server side, and now the server is also saving everything. And as you guys have seen, performance actually isn't that bad on the PSP. Now, um, somehow I ended the thing where uh, it would basically load before it, but as you guys can see it from my walking here, chunks are generating at about the same speed as they were before. Uh, even with the additional checks for uh, different things like that because I've used an algorithm that basically marks whenever a chunk has been edited in order to actually go ahead and check that uh, we're working with um, basically brand new chunks if we're working with brand new chunks no need to basically do go ahead and edit it and of course it saves your look your position uh, and stuff like that it doesn't save what hotwire slot but I don't think that's actually uh, too important for you uh, so that way you can uh, do that also saves uh, basically uh, some more metadata about the player as well uh, in order to basically use it for reconstruction of the world. So that's what's been changed in version 0.3.3. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in another video.